we're up close and personal right now because your girl just felt like putting on some makeup. The sun is currently blaring into this room, so that's always pleasant. I have a bunch of stuff that I just want to try. I haven't put on makeup in a while, and I haven't filmed myself put on makeup in a while either. So we've got some stuff from Vanity that they've sent me. I picked up a bunch of the Emco Beauty uh, Just Peachy collection that was on clearance at Woolworths yesterday when I was doing my food shopping. And I have some makeup from OXX Studio from Kmart that I want to try today. So let's just sit down and put on some makeup together. So I want to try out this Vanity Brow Cushion Duo that's in the color Brunette. It comes with like a split pan with a light brunette shade and a dark brunette as well as a little brush. I'm going to use my own brush. I've never used this before. I'm afraid of what it's going to look like. I also cleaned my makeup brushes um, the other night for the first time in so long so I'm excited to use fresh brushes. I'm just going to start with a lighter product and just fill in my brows like I usually do. Oh yeah. I don't understand the purpose of the cushion. Is it meant to be long wearing? I'll tell you what, it's easy to stuff up. Okay, I did that brow really messy. That's okay because I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer anyway. What are those? What are those? Okay, I'm gonna try this Pollution Protection OXX Concealer from Kmart. This is in the color Porcelain. It's a full coverage concealer, rich in antioxidants. It's in like a frosted kind of plastic. This is not porcelain. Jesus, I don't know what they do with their undertones. This does not feel very, like, full coverage either. Okay, so it cleaned up that brow quite nicely. I wouldn't say it's full coverage though. Don't know where they got that claim from because I'm putting on stacks and it's still not covering. Look at the colour it's turning. It's turning like super peach. No, stop. In here, I'm quite blue and it's still blue with two layers of concealer on and it's oxidizing like a bitch. Anyway, let's move on to an eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow, obviously. Um, I've got the option of this, which is the nude eyeshadow palette from Vanity and it's honestly so gorgeous, but I'm kind of feeling doing this one, the just peachy eyeshadow palette from Emco Beauty. Um, so I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to go in with this neutral, kind of warm toned brown, and I'm going to pop that on the outer, oh, hello pigment. I'm going to pop that on the outer corner and then blend that into my crease. Look at that pigment. That blended so well. This shadow is like so stunning. It's a really nice caramel warm brown, but it's not too warm. Like it definitely pulls a bit more neutral than say like a red base brown. But look at how seamlessly that blended. Okay, thanks. It's really, really creamy, like super creamy. I want to go in with this shade here. I'm literally going to pick it up with my brush first. It's like a turquoise kind of khaki green. I'm just gonna place that. Sorry, what? 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 Are we seeing this? Look at that pigment, and I'm not wetting the brush. Sorry. <laughs> Look at this green. Look at that. Look how pigmented that is. I'm just going to place it on here. Oh my god. That is so gorgeous. Like so creamy 
and adhering so nicely to the skin. I'm just going to take that brown that we just went in with. I'm going to buff around these edges. I then want to take this kind of matte brown just here. And I just want to slightly add that to the outer corner. Can we just take a moment to look at these fucking eyeshadows? Look at the performance behind them. Look at that pigment. I'm just going to slightly blend that into the crease. Why is this so beautiful? Can you tell me? Adding that dark brown, sweeping that in the crease slightly. I feel like the green is just a bit too green. So I'm actually going to pull up a little bit of this khaki shade right here. Right there. I'm just going to kind of go over the center of the eye to kind of blend it. I'm really impressed by that eyeshadow. Like this is super rough. This is just like a grungy kind of look. Not, I wasn't being like precise at all. This was five dollars. Like this was five fucking dollars. What the hell is that? So I'm gonna go in with the pollution pollution protection primer from OXX Studio. This is a smoothing and hydrating primer with hyaluronic acid and green tea. Feels really moisturizing though. And like it's kind of tacky now. I'm just going to use my Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in the colour 5 today. I'm just going to apply it straight onto the sponge. This is just a beauty blender. And then I'm going to place that around my face. And I'm just going to tap. Go back in with this concealer and see how this performs on the face. I don't particularly like the undertone of this. Um, pollution protection concealer, but we're going to give it a go. It added a little bit of coverage, but honestly, not that much. I'm going to go in with the Vanity Liquid Radiance Highlighting Drops in the color Ivory. I like that one, that liquid illuminator. I feel like it's really vibrant and really nice. This is the Lip and Cheek Tint from Emco Beauty in Peach Sherbet. Look how cute this is. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> That's vibrant, honey. <gasps> That's so vibrant. Okay, we're just going to... I'm just gonna blend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does that look so pretty? Why does that look so gorgeous? Am I gonna take this to Thailand? Yes, I am, huh? It's like a really nice flush. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I need to set my under eyes really quickly because I'm starting to crease already. I'm just gonna use my Hello Happy Benefit powder. Oh. Take a little bit of this, not too much though, and just dust it around the perimeters of my face, kind of setting my face, but also adding like a little bit of like bronze. Oh my god, my face looks like a big ball of dew. Big ball of dewy. Love some dew. I take some of this down my neck because I believe my face is a different color to my neck, which is always just what you want in life. You always just want your face to be a different colour to your neck. Don't try and tell me that you don't. Why is this palette like actually is so much more than what I thought it was going to be? Like I heard really good things about this. I didn't know it was going to be like this easy to blend and this pigmented and the colour scheme is so nice. It kind of reminds me of the original Too Faced Peach palette. Like the colour scheme. I wish I still had that palette, but I gave it away. I'm going to be extra today. And I'm also going to go over that cream blush. And it comes with a shimmery one, but I was looking at this one. I want to use that one. That looks cute. Ooh. And just... Oh! Look at that pigment. So this is the Just Peachy Highlight Palette. And I want to try this shade because people have been raving on about this. My cat is outside my window, literally meowing at me like an asshole, but that's fine. Blizzard! <sighs> Sorry. 
three. Oh my god. What? I'm sorry. Look how that looks like a cream. That that is like so pigmented. It looks so nice on the skin. I'm just gonna use this OXX brow gel. It was three dollars, and it looks like it's gonna be a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. Bloody pinky nude. Okay, I put baddest beige on my lips from Maybelline. Now I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty gloss in the shade Fussy. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with this iconic London setting spray because I like don't use it like ever. I'm gonna go through everything that I use today that's new and tell you guys what my thoughts are and all of that. Um, so we'll first start off with the primer. So this is the Pollution Protection Primer from Kmart from the OXX range. This is meant to be a hydrating, smoothing primer. When I first applied it, it definitely felt um, hydrating. It felt kind of like a moisturizer, very similar to the um, Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, the Makeup Forever um, Skin Equalizer, the Hydrating Primer, very similar to that. The smoothing, no, it definitely didn't feel in fine lines or like smoothing out my pores or anything. And now that I've been wearing my makeup for a little while and I've done my hair and stuff, I've noticed that I am creasing in areas and I look a little bit textured and I look a little bit old, um, like in person. And it's definitely not the benefit foundation because I use this foundation all the time. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to like bring it down to this. Um, I definitely have to try this more to have a full opinion on it. But, like, you can't really wear a primer once and be like, you know what I mean? Like, you've got to definitely work with it. So, I'll see. I'll try it out, keep trying it out, and then I'll get back to you guys about that one. The concealer. This is the Pollution Protection Concealer from OXX Studio. This is definitely not a high coverage, full coverage concealer like it claims. It's very thin. The color range is quite bad. It's not a bad concealer, but it just is a very light concealer. If you're someone that wears like barely any makeup, you're probably going to like this. I am creasing though in my under eye lines, so please keep that in mind. Not my favorite, not the best, but what can you expect for the price it is? Like it's quite affordable. This is definitely the star of the show in my opinion. I know that this palette from M Co Beauty is on clearance right now in Woolworths. So if you do come across this, please pick this up. Even though it's just like cardboard packaging, I bought this for $5 and these eyeshadows are beautiful. Mattes and shimmers, very beautiful wearable tones. This will be going in my makeup kit. I will be using this on clients. Like you saw the proof is in the pudding guys. The proof is in the pudding. I really do like the Vanity Liquid Radiance Drops, but as I said, there's just something about my Frank Cream Illuminator that I like better than this. This is way more, um, chrome looking where this looks kind of more like glossy and more dewy if that makes sense this mco beauty lip and cheek tint this was the dollar 75 on clearance this again is from the peach range this is in the color peach sherbet gorgeous um it's on my cheeks right now i absolutely love it, it it's dewy but not oily looking it just blended really nice into my skin i had no issues at all with that i love this i really liked the blush from Emco Beauty, this is the Just Peachy Mega Blush. I didn't use the shimmery side, I just used this side here. Gorgeous, pigmented, easy to blend, and it seems to be wearing quite well. The highlighting palette from this brand as well, especially from this collection, is a must-have. This color right here is what I used on my cheekbones today, and you guys can see my glow, it is real. Um, I can't believe this was five dollars as well. I'm definitely not gonna skip over Emco Beauty because like I was kind of like nose up to it because you could buy it from like Woolworths, but now that I've tried it, I'm like, yes, bring more of this affordable, good quality makeup into my life. The brow gel from Kmart, um, it's decent. 
It's not the same as the Gimme Brown. Nothing can replace the Gimme Brown in my mind. Cult classic, I'll wear it forever. Um, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative that does something similar, that is definitely a good option. Is that everything new that I tried? I think so. That's it for the video today. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. If you're in the mood to watch more of my videos, I'll leave them here on the screen right now. Did you subscribe? Have you thumbs up? Have you clicked on my next video? I think we're good to go. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!